Day five of the Wisconsin recount and no major issues so far. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Megan Lowry. Six counties have completed their work and Trump's margin hasn't changed yet. The rest of the counties have seven days left until the December 12th deadline. Billy Wagness is live in Brown County with the latest. Billy. Yeah, Megan, here in Ashwaubenon, just after a late lunch break, a milestone of sorts was reached, according to Brown County Clerk Sandy Juno. They're 65% complete now with their recount, and she says it's all because of a committed team. And within the six Wisconsin counties that had finished by today, officials say votes lost or gained by either Clinton or Trump were minimal, adding any changes have been due to human error. And here in Brown County, officials say they could be done counting by Thursday even. You know, everybody put in a long, tough weekend with those uh, 10 hour days, um, right through the Packer game and the whole thing. Uh, so, our goal is to be done before the weekend. We, we want to be able to spend that time with our families. Now, in Outagamie County today, just one ballot was reported to have found its way into the wrong ward. And remember, the Wisconsin Elections Commission has gone on record saying that they don't feel this recount will change anything about the original results of the election. Reporting live in Ashwaubenon, keeping you connected, Billy Wagness, NBC 26. Thank you, Billy. Michigan has started its presidential recount today. A federal judge has ordered the elections officials to meet a December 13th deadline. Michigan's appeals court will hear arguments tomorrow on a Trump request to halt the recount.